Your first act, uh, so funny, and uh, one of the winners of Etobicoke's top comic, which earned him a spot here. He was one of uh, two finalists out of 72. So you know we got the cream of the crop for you guys right here, right now. Huge round of applause, Mr. Mike Payne, everybody. Mike! Yeah. Personal. So I need you on board. You guys on board? That's what I like to hear. Well, you know what? You're on my power team, so I'll tell you about my superpower. I do have a superpower, and just like other superheroes, I got it through trauma. Like little Bruce Wayne lost his whole fucking family right in front of his face. He grew up, didn't go to therapy, became Batman, right? Our little Peter Parker, bitten by a radioactive spider, became Tobey Maguire. <laughs> As for me, I was molested when I was 12, and my superpower is, it takes me a really long time to come. <laughs> I am the tough nut. <laughs> my arch nemesis is the Flash. Cause he comes too fast. <laughs> There's gotta be at least a couple ladies out there, maybe men too, you know, looking at their boyfriends right now, just going, why can't you be more like him? <laughs> and what you don't know is when I go home to my wife and I'm on her, she's just like, are you done yet? <laughs> or, I can't breathe. <laughs> Cause guys, look, look at this shit right here. Like tiny little legs. I am fat as fuck from the waist up. Like I look like a paraplegic after an evangelical miracle. I look like I wheeled my way into a Southern Baptist church. A gentle preacher reached out, touched me on the shoulder, and spoke in tongues. Shambaradi karalo da da. And I stood up and walked my way out. I look like I had a twin in utero that I ate. But he survived. And now he's wearing me like a meat suit. I'm just trying to say I don't feel like myself today, guys. Oh, man. Is anyone else holding a grudge in here right now? Like one honest person? The rest of you are fucking liars, seriously. It's part of the human condition, guys. We're all holding grudges. I've been holding a grudge since I was eight years old. There was a shitty kid who used to go around my neighborhood on his goddamn big wheel. Guys, remember big wheels? It's like a cheap plastic tricycle, but your ass is on the ground. It's got like Hot Wheels and Ninja Turtles and Shira, Princess of Power, sir, on the side. It's all right, dude. Nobody's gonna shame you. Well, this piece of human trash used to roll around my neighborhood on that fucking big wheel taking pot shots at people's houses, just rolling around, brush, 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 or for millennials, brah, brah. <laughs> but I thought we were cool because he never shot at my house until one day I'm sitting on the front porch with my dear old dad, piece of human trash rolls up, parks right in our driveway, takes careful aim right at me and fires. Brush. I was so fucking pissed. I jumped up and I started to charge him. My dad reached out and he grabbed me. And he goes, sweetie, Sweetie, simmer down. Remember your asthma. <laughs> what, your dad's not gay as fuck? <laughs> that shit came in handy. Like when I was a kid, I got beat up a lot and it's like my dad would let the bully get that first punch in because he would appear behind them like a fairy out of nowhere. And his big man paw would come down on their shoulder and he'd lean in with his thick dick breath. <laughs> And he'd say, you leave my boy alone, or I'll 
make daddy leave mommy. <laughs> and that kid was like, what? It's like, oh, fuck your dad! <laughs> now, I bet you're wondering what the other half of the family beard looks like, right? My mom? Well, she can be best described like an old world drink. Hey, barkeep, give me a scotch dyke and make it chubby. <laughs> All right. I lost half you on that one. <laughs> I get it, I do. You don't know me. And what you don't know is that I'm gay. Culturally. Like, I have two moms and two dads in that order, guys. It's true. I have four gay parents. I am first-generation heterosexual. <laughs> This is the point of my act, where at least half of you are like, what the fuck? How does that even happen? Oh, I know. Did they find a sperm donor and make a plan? No, man. I was conceived anally. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I was immaculately conceived. I am the gay Jesus. I am Jesus to the gays like Jesus was Jesus to the Jews. We're just trying to find a different way, guys. Hey, Mick, how are you? <laughs> oh. All kidding aside, I, uh, you know, I sometimes think about coming out, I do. You know, join the flock. But then I remember it might not be so good for the world. Not because I'd be gay, gay people are awesome. But well, I'd be second generation. And therefore, a gay lord. <laughs> I mean, I would rule over you with an iron fist, ing. My royal garb would be comprised of two young little people strewn around me like a human diaper. Guy in the front's like Smeagol from the Lord of the Rings, just searching for his precious. The guy in the back, do you guys remember Street Fighter 2 back in the day? Street Fighter 2 fans, yeah? Remember Blanca? Green guy, red hair from Brazil for some fucking reason? You get your girlfriend to play as him because all she had to do to spend time with you was take these three fingers and just button mash and button mash, and he would erupt on screen with electricity, like oh, 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 oh. She fucks up and hits strong punch. Oh, ah! That's the guy in the back of the human diaper. Anyway, back to that shitty kid from 30 years ago. You know, the one on the big wheel? I finally figured out why he was shooting at me that day. It's because I had a goddamn GT snow racer and he didn't. Guys remember GT Snow Racers? It's like the Ferrari of sleds, right? All the other shitty kids had what? Yes, ding, 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 crazy carpet! The fruit roll-up of sleds. You get your little brother to unpeel it and hold it down, you jump on, go down a hill off a cliff and die? So anyway, I found this guy's phone number. And I gave him a call. I said, hey, motherfucker, do you remember me? Do you remember Mike Payne? And he's like, oh, vaguely? Because it was 30 years ago. I said, well, I just want you to know. I put a fresh coat of wax on my GT, and I hung up the phone. Three minutes later, he calls me back, says, Mike, I know I hurt you all those years ago, but do me a favor. Go up to your front window and have a look outside. So I hang up the phone, go up to my front window, pull back the blind, and what do I see? A fat as fuck, 40-year-old piece of shit on his goddamn big wheel, picking pot shots at my house, guys. Goes full circle. Don't hold grudges. It's not worth it. So anyway, um, I am married now to a woman. And uh, <laughs> been married for some time now. Uh, around Christmas, we, we have to figure out which house we're going to. So we do the old switcheroo, meaning one year we're with my parents, and then the next year we're just not having fun. So this year we're out in Ottawa doing the ladder. And on Christmas morning, we're doing what all white people do. We're watching Netflix. And so we've got Honey, I Shrunk the Kids up on the TV. And in the middle of the movie, my mother-in-law gets up, goes in front of everybody, looks me dead in the eyes and says, Michael, whatever happened to that Rick Moranis? And I said, Jan, I believe it's pronounced Moranis. And she said, Michael, I really do prefer Moranis. And I said, that's good, so do my dads. 
Anyway, that's my time, guys. Thanks very much. Give it up for your host, Hunter. That's my thing.